We are going to show how to set up a Node.js project using TypeScript. Without any further ado, let's get on practice, okay? Let me get here my terminal and create a new directory. Let's call it Node.js project with TypeScript. Let me go inside it, open it on our yes code. Okay, cool stuff here. Let's get started by running the git init command, creating a git ignore file. So inside here, let's add this content. You know, like always, I'm trying to record my videos going direct to the point, you know, so you can learn faster. If you want to go and find out how something works behind the scenes, you can go to the docs and, you know, learn and read it on your own time, okay? So you don't need to learn on my time. You are going to learn faster here with me and you can go then on the docs and learn on your own time, okay? Cool stuff here, devs. So let's also add the this folder. Also, let's go back to our terminal. Let me clear it here. Let me zoom in for you maybe. It'll be better okay so let's run here on yarn init uh, node.js project with typescript that's cool the version description entry point uh, repository url author stays okay cool yeah all right we can go ahead and add some some libraries here so let's use this yarn add dash t so we are going to add these at our dev dependencies and let's see let's add here the typescript and also the type slash node and the t s c watch or as we turn here so in a little more okay let me zoom in here so maybe it will be better for you Okay, um, let's see what next. We can actually initialize our TypeScript config here. So let's npx tsc dash dash init. This is gonna create this file here. You can just remove all these commented lines and I need you to change this here first. So the output here, let's say that it will be on um, this, okay. Let's add a folder, source, create a file inside it. So um, let's add our index content here. We're going to import the HTTP from HTTP. Cool. On the next videos on this series, I'm gonna show how to configure the prettier TS, Lint, Husky, then we're gonna start working with Express, okay? And all right, um, we can create a const here to the port, then let's create the server here. So const server, HTTP dot create server, we get the request, the response here, and let's set this. Okay, now we can server dot listen, on the port we just created. Yeah, we can add this console log here. Cool. So uh, one more thing, we need to add a script here. Yeah, totally. Okay, so um, dev, then here, let's see. We can add something like, let me show it to you. We're gonna use this library here. Okay, so Feel free to go ahead and search for this. So read the docs, okay? As I said, I'm trying to go direct to the point so you can learn faster with me and go to the docs after. And okay, so here, let's use that library. So we're gonna pass here on success and then uh, we can use it some backslash here. Okay, so node. And then the directory, which will be this slash index.js. We can pass the compiler 
option to compiler, which will be TypeScript slash bin slash TSC. So here we're just going to pass this between double quotes. So that's why we used this escape character here. Okay, let's save it. I think we have almost everything here. Let me just double check this. Okay, yeah, let's try go ahead and run it. So the okay, dev start compilation in watch mode. So okay, found no errors watching for file chains. Yeah, cool. All right, let's go here. So that's all for today, guys. And I'll see you next time. We're going to set up our prettier linked Husky and start working with Express. So feel free to go through each line we wrote here and learn more about it. Okay, see you next time, devs.